when is the best month to catch catfish? I'm gonna give you my four best months to catch catfish, but first let me say this. Catfish can be caught any time of the year because they're always feeding at some level. Obviously things slow down in the winter, but they can even be caught in cold weather. And well, one of those cold weather months may actually make my list. With all that said, let's start with number four and that's September. Now September is a month where it still feels like summertime in a lot of the country. But in most of the country, the sweltering heat of summer has passed and most of the pleasure boats are in storage for the winter. Metabolism is still high, fish are feeding, and they're still very active throughout September. And the good news is all three major species, the flathead blue and channel cat, are still active. And that one species, the flathead, well, September, especially late September into October, is prime time for catching these fish before they go dormant in the winter. Generally speaking, during this time period, if you can find one flathead, you'll probably find several. The other good thing is, is that during September, fish are generally scattered out throughout the lake or the river that you're fishing in, so it makes it a lot easier to find fish. This is good for folks fishing from the boat and fishing from the bank. So if you're looking for the ideal month to go fishing, make sure September is on your list. Now coming in at number three is May. The outdoor world is alive and bustling by May, but there is a downside that we'll touch on here in a minute. Water temperatures are at a good level for all three major species of catfish. Air temperatures are in a good range. While it can still be cool in the morning, you're not facing oppressive heat in the middle of the day and nighttime fishing can be awesome. By this time of the year, fish are all over the lakes and the river systems and a lot of them are following migrating fish that are moving to spawn like skipjack, perch, and shad. Overall, there's a lot of activity in May and a lot of good fishing. Now for that bad news. The first three weeks of May are awesome. But that last week of May, well, that's Memorial Day. That is when folks traditionally take to the lakes and the rivers for the summertime, and that means a lot of traffic, a lot of boats, and, well, the summer crowds. And depending on where you're at in the country, around that last week of May, well, the spawn can start. Now, generally speaking, most of the spawning activity for the three major species takes place in June, but depending on temperatures and how far south you are in the United States, spawning activity can start and the bite can start to decline. Overall, even with that little bit of bad news, I still put May as one of my top four months to go chase all three major species of catfish. Now we're going to shift gears. Remember what I said earlier about those winter months? Well, for number two, you're going to have to break out your jacket because it's December. Why December? Well, one of the biggest things is, unlike May, you pretty much got the water to yourself because there are not a lot of people out fishing. But most importantly, the thing I have seen, especially for folks that fish reservoirs, is that in December, some of the biggest fish of the year can be caught. For me personally, almost all of my 60 plus pound blue catfish have come in December. Even my son's 60 plus pound blue catfish was caught on New Year's Day. Now, the overall number of fish caught in December is significantly lower than some of the other months that I've mentioned. As a matter of fact, most of those trips where we have caught those 60 plus pound fish in December, we have caught very few fish, and in some cases, only two to three fish. Typically, December is when you start to get your first cold snaps, and these cold snaps can lead to the bite that has been pretty decent shutting off or shutting down. But if you're willing to stick it out and are persistent, you can put some magnificent fish in the boat during this cold month. Now, generally speaking, I am anchoring up in December when I am targeting trophy fish. This is the best way, I think, to find some of these somewhat lethargic fish. It's a little more work. You gotta put some time in looking at your sonar, trying to find fish, anchoring up on them, and waiting for them to bite. 
Now, with that said, this past December, I put a 60 plus pound fish in the boat trolling. So, yes, you can still catch fish dragging baits in the wintertime or anchoring. Now, if you're a bank angler, time is your friend. One thing about fishing in the wintertime is that generally wading fish out is something you're gonna have to do. So you bank anglers have an advantage because a lot of times you're stuck in one location. So time is your friend, patience is your friend. Sometimes putting those baits out, sitting and waiting is what it takes in that colder weather. Now, if you gotta pick and choose your days, look out for the winter fun killers. What are the winter fun killers? Well, it's anytime cold, wet, and wind collide. Generally speaking, any of us can tolerate a little bit of rain, a little bit of cold, or a little bit of wind. But you put any of those two together, and if you get all three, it's miserable. So pick and choose your days when you're fishing in the winter. So what is my favorite month to fish? Well, that would be April. April is by far my favorite month to fish. Not necessarily for big fish, but just for fish in general. While it can still be chilly, we are generally coming out of those extreme cold temperatures of wintertime and everything is coming to life. Bait fish are on the move, making their migration to spawn. And depending on where you are in the country, some fish like bass and crappie are already spawning. All this movement, all this migration, well, it creates a commotion, so to speak, and a lot of predator fish are up feeding. During the same time period is when some of the catfish begin to go into pre-spawn setups and areas. While the spawn is still a long way off, you're starting to see some of these fish moving into areas that they plan to spawn in. During this time period, I'm a big fan of anchoring down in shallow water. Shallow water starts to hold a lot of fish that are moving to spawn like shad, crappie, and bass. The other thing is this shallower water warms up quicker. So it's a perfect combination to have catfish coming in to feed and possibly looking for a nesting area to spawn later. Now, one thing about spring is the weather can be volatile, so don't get locked into one way of fishing or one area. You will have cold snaps, you will have cold temperatures, and you just need to be flexible in where you're fishing and where you can get access to fish. Overall though, the fishing will get better and better as April goes on. Like I said in the beginning, folks, you can catch fish any time of the year. These four months are just really some of what I consider to be the prime time, the prime months to be out there. And they're months that I look forward to getting out on the water and fishing. I suggest you get out there and fish when you can. If it means your time off is in, well, maybe not one of these months, that's okay. You can still catch fish. If you have the option to plan some of your time off, maybe some vacation or some scheduling around these months, these are good times to be out there on the water i think they'll be productive for you but if you go in december make sure you dress warm